just about to get underway. And today's starting pitcher, Taiwan Walker. What do you have on him, Singy? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled, batting below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. Out of here. What a start to this one. His first homer of the year, and the Cubs have the lead now. It's 1 0. You can't ask for a better start than hitting a home run in your first at bat to give your team the lead. Well, we see this so much more today. Lineups with pop in the leadoff spot, and it really puts the pitcher in a tough spot out there where he has to execute right away. You can't just get over a couple of strikes to settle in, get comfortable, because at the plate, that guy's looking to do exactly what he just did. Start the game off with a huge bang. Dansby Swanson stands in, kicks and fires. That's a ball. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Righty to the plate. Hey. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Hey. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Look, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting the ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't... Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Pete Crow Armstrong. Big time speed here, Boog. A guy with just terrific wheels and an absolute nightmare for opposing pitchers when he's on base. I mean, players like this who have elite speed, it's like disruptive technology on the base paths. Man, can't wait to watch him run. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Ball. And downstairs. Two, two the count. Bounce to the right side. Stop. The throw to first, and that is the inning. Looking back at the solo blast that led off the game. It's now a one-nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Philadelphia, and on the hill for the Cubs, Javier Assad. Safe to say, he's pretty stingy, Chris. Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Close one doesn't get the call. And a count two and one. Up the middle. Whips it to first. One up, one down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Kyle Schwarber. 
and he's leading him in runs batted in this season which tells me this guy is able to slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure and he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage you know a lot of guys they see runners on base and they get big they feel like all this pressure I've got to get these runs in but somehow he seems to settle into these situations so watch out when he comes to the plate. One down, Phillies down a run. Hey. Fights it off, he'll see another. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out, two down. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. We found a way to just get it by him. Just missed. Good eye right there. Three balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. Full count now. Right-hander kicks, deals. And there's That's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And now it's Alec Bohm. Hot foul out of play off to the right. Pitch misses there, and it's two and two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They're down one nothing. Citizens Bank Park. Second inning, set to go. Here's the third baseman, Isaac Paredes. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Next offering is outside. pitch hey. struck him out looking Patrick Wisdom the next cup to hit here's a 1-1 one -one. now a pop up on the infield Harper makes the grab for the second out Boy, that was a hanging, breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Here's Nico Horner. Left field, way back there. Schwarber ranges back. Leaps at the wall, but can't haul it in. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Nico Horner with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but... It's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Pete Crow Armstrong. On the ground. And it goes just foul. And a pitch. Three. Swings and misses. Struck him out. 
No runs, one hit, a double, no errors, and one man left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Cubs one and the Phillies nothing. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. We head to the bottom of the second, and here's the veteran outfielder, Nick Castellanos. Here's a 2 1. On the ground to third. That's one out at the bottom of the second. Batting six. The second baseman. This is Bryson Stop. And a swing and a miss. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. JT Real Muto steps in. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Two strikes. Two down, nobody on. That two one way outside. Two, two balls, two strikes. This one in the air, center field. Sizing this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. We played two innings. It's one to nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, out of the third Miguel. inning, and now it's Miguel Amaya. Miguel Amaya. And a pitch. Fouls one off, two and two. And the right hander deals. That one ripped. Way back there. And it's off the top of the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Miguel Lamaya with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. In half, up to hit. Wings here and blasts one left field. That's back there. And it hits the fence. The throw into second. He's in safely at second. A run comes in on the play. Showed off some really nice oppo pop with that swing and just couldn't get it over the fence. But I absolutely love everything about that approach and the mechanics right there. Next for the Cubs, Dansby Swanson. Man at second. And now two and one. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Turner with the throw to first. And Swanson is set down. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat.
and a pitch just missed well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Next offered in there for a strike. And it's three and two. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Schwarber ranging back. And it hits the top of the wall. In comes the runner from third. It's three zip. The relay throw. He's in there. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat. And it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Runner at third with one gone. Cody Bellinger, the next Cub to hit. Dives and he can't hang on. In comes the run from third to add on. And it's 4-0. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat. And it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Runner on at first with one gone. Isaac Paredes now. So a foul ball makes it one and two. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because team runner on the go. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Grabs it right up against the wall. So, man aboard, Patrick Wisdom, the next Cub to hit. Kicks and deals. And that one hit to first. And it gets by him. Bellinger around second on his way to third. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Patrick Wisdom with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. First and third, two away. Nico Horner, the next Cub to hit. The 1-1. One, one. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And that is that. They strike for three runs on five hits. No errors and a couple left on. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Cubs four and the Phillies nothing. And we're back. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. The designated hitter, Brendan Mark. 1-1 one, one now. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Pin connect on the curveball struck him out. Batting done. And here's the rookie center fielder. One down, base is empty. Wouldn't chase that time. That one misses. And now three and one. Three balls, one strike. 
three one and he couldn't come up with it. The batter, the left fielder. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Working down to the zone to start the at bat, looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high. Maybe you get a mistake. Move to first. Be good. The Cubbies leading by four here in the last half of the third. That one missed. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. The 2 2. And foul ball. And here it comes. Out towards right center field. Bellinger sizing it up. Bellinger snags it on the run. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Trey Turner with a chance now. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there. He owns the home plate area. And it's through for a hit. Trey Turner with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Luke. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So two on with two away. Here's Bryce Harper. That catches the outside corner. That's strike two. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear down. Those last two pitches were well executed. Two on, two outs. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. Around third. Fires it to the plate. Safe. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat. And it makes this special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Alec Bohm. Here's a 1 1. On the ground, a third, Paredes. They limit the damage here. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 4 1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Philadelphia, now at the plate, Pete Crow Armstrong. Pete. Armstrong. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Bounced up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. That leaves him without a throw. And so they end up with some speed on it first. Pete Crow Armstrong with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. 
Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Man at first, and now the catcher comes up to him. Miguel Amaya. And the pitch. And no. another ball. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Check on the runner, no, he's and he's there. back in there. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And a swing and a miss. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his muddy pitches to get that swing and miss. Next offering is downstairs. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Now here is Ian Happ. At the belt and fires. Hit weakly on the ground. Turner over to that's stop for one. On the first double play. And that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. And midway in the fourth, it's the Cubs four and the Phillies one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go. Bottom four. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss as he was out front. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. The one two. And that's outside. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The pitch. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. The wide to kick the pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Here comes the pitch. Full count. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch. Throw is wide, and it gets past him at first. And he's into second with nobody out. For the offense, that's basically as good as a leadoff double. You got a man in scoring position. Great chance to put something on the board right now. So we'll see how they approach it. On the mound, he's feeling some early pressure that he's got to try to work through. So digging in now for Philadelphia, right? Slice the other way. That's a base hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Bryson Stott with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now it is JT Real Muto. The pitch. On the ground, could be two. Oh, what a flip for one. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killer. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here. So that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Now it's the DH, Brandon Marsh. Two outs. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball. 
two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Fouls it off, still one and two. And okay, another ball. Ball two. Two down, base is empty, but one run across. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And a liner around into right center for a base hit. Brandon Marsh with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. Runner at first with two away. Here's the center fielder. Out to short, Swanson. That ends the inning. So they get one run on two base hits. One error and one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Cubs four and the Phillies two. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Dansby Swanson. Here's a 1-1. One -one. A little out front there as he swings through it. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Ball two. And now it's even up. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. On the ground, right side. Stott over to first in time. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Next is the designated hitter, Seiya Suzuki. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then... By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. One down, base is empty. Okay. High fly ball out to left field. Schwarber in pursuit. Falls it in, two away. Right fielder, Cody Bellinger. Two outs, base is empty. Bellinger up to hit. Two outs. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a one two. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And up next for Chicago, Isaac Paredes. Bellinger on its second with two down. And a ball in two strikes. This one in the air right field. Castellanos tracks it down for the out. Cubs leave one, 
as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. Justin Steele on for his major league debut so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage he just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point the only difference there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium but the game itself is still the same look at the catcher whatever fingers he puts down that's what you throw and just let him lead you in this one And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Here's Trey Turner. The Cubs up by two. Last half of inning number five. misses and that's ball two movement in the Cubs bullpen Keegan Thompson up and throwing for manager Craig Council Wicks the lefty warming up as well the count two and one and another ball top of the zone for a called strike I got three and two the string with the change up struck him out chance to strike out the side now you talk about the benefits the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves knowing that they can miss the bat tell you what that's huge and can change the ball game and now here is Harper that misses and that's ball three one strike Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Three balls, two, two outs, bases empty. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Carlos Estevez. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. The 1-1. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. One ball, two strikes. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Righty to the plate. Wouldn't Ball chase that down. time. Right-handed reliever. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And he deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and fires. The punch out there. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Good eye nope. in that spot. 
Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Orion Kirkering up and loosening in the pen. Strom getting cranked up as well. Bases empty, one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. And a foul ball. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Two outs, bases empty. Pete Crow Armstrong, the next Cub to hit. Swings and chases a low one there. One ball, two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies, Alec Bohm. And a good eye there. Well, these Phillies really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. One down, base is empty. Fastball for a strike. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And now, Bryson stop. Two down, nobody on, here in the bottom of the sixth. Bounced out to short. And he's safe at first. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line. So two down. And here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Pitch misses. The count now two and two. Hit on the ground to the right that's side. Right and that's just foul. Stop off of first with two away. Snap throw to first. He's and he's back in safely. Yeah. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Philly strand one. Still down by a count of four to two.
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Orion Kirkery. And yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Now the catcher up to hit, Miguel Amaya. Amaya. And he swings over the top there. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Here's the 2 2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Here's the Cubs leadoff man, Ian Happ. He had a big swing for these guys way back to the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. And yeah, that's a little bit high, and it's 2-1. Two two Base is empty, one away. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Off the mark off. there. Counts full, three and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's Great. hand really well right now. Got him swinging. The back, seven. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. Down the line. Castellanos moves on it. And that is that. Back here in Philadelphia, set for the last half of the seventh. And now it's going to be Brandon Marsh. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swing and a miss struck him out. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And now the center fielder. Here's a one two. Two ball, two strike. The Cubbies holding on to a two run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. Up and in, and that's ball three. That one lifted to left. Hap heads towards it. They got it for out number two. Now that left fielder, Kyle. Back to the top of the lineup and digging in for Philadelphia, Kyle Schwarber. The one one is fouled off. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Down quickly, go the Phillies. They trail it here, four to two. And we're back, ready to begin the eighth. Now it'll be the Cubs DH, Seiya Suzuki. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again. 
And it remains three and two. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. To the right side, and foul ball. And the righty deals. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. Two outs, space is empty. So up now for Chicago, Isaac Paredes. Two down, nobody on. That one finds the zone, and that is strike two. Two down, nobody on, and we're in the top of the eighth. Off the mark there. Full count now. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Cubs are down quietly, but they still lead this one four to two. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Sean Armstrong. This is his first appearance of the season. Trey Turner at the plate. And the right hander deals. Gets the slider in there for a strike. That to right. Bellinger drifts towards it. Makes the catch for the out. The first baseman, number three. Five. Bryce Harper to the plate. The Cubs trying to protect a two-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. This to center field. Crow Armstrong should have it. Drops into the glove. Two down. Now batter, third baseman, Alec. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Two outs. And a foul ball. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Oh. And another ball. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Matt Strong. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And here's the first baseman, Patrick Wisdom. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. 
One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Oh, great grab on the dive. To his knee, the throw on the money. Nice play. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. At the play, Nico Horner. Started to swing, held up. Base is empty, one away here at the top of the ninth. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Stott over to first in time. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. Pete Crow Armstrong, the next Cub to hit. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. This to third. Tosses across to first. And that is that. No runs, no hits, no errors. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Cubs four and the Phillies two. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Kurt Murdoch. A chance at his first save of the year. Number 44. Kurt Murdoch. And now for the Phillies, Nick Castellanos. The right fielder. Now, Boo, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. And that one missing low. Next offering upstairs. And a pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. They're not ready to go home quite yet. So up next, Bryson Stout. The tying run at the plate. Three. Caught him looking for the K. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. And I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. He's two outs away, and up to the plate is JT Real Muto. That one inside. Now two balls and a strike. With the tying run at the plate. Here the last half of inning number nine. That one in for a strike, two and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And another ball. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Tying run at the plate. In the air, left field, down the line. Brings it in, and there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Last chance for the Phillies. Brandon Marsh now at the plate. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul straight back. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. The other way. Ball game. 
Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. 